Now for part B, we've got to work out then the mod of Z squared. Very easy. All we've got to do is just simply use Pythagoras' theorem. Just a reminder though, in case uh, you're not sure about this, then if we've got a argon diagram, let's just sketch it say here, we've got our real axis here and our imaginary axis up here. If you were drawing the complex number minus 5 minus 12i, which funny enough we're asked to do later on, it does seem a bit peculiar actually, to me anyway, but we've got minus 5 that way, minus 12 downwards, so you've got z squared looks something like that. Just put that as z squared. So you've essentially got 5 units to the left and you've got 12 units down. So you've got a right angle triangle here and you can use Pythagoras theorem. Well known triangle 5, 12, 13. But if you need to show some working, all you've got to do is say it's the square root then of 5 squared, or you could put that in brackets, minus 5 squared, it's up to you, plus and then minus 12 all squared. And that comes to the square root then of 25 plus 144 root 169, which is 13. So there you go, there's the modulus then of z squared.